Hey YouTube. Figure I'd update the glowfish tank. Uh, I think I've gotten new fish since I last showed it. You can see there's now a green and a red. There it was, just peeking out. Glowfish Daniel in here. They're both doing really well. They've been in here for about two or three weeks now. The shrimp in this tank are incredibly red. I can't get it to focus on them. There you can see just how red they are. Several of them are pregnant in this tank. And there's a bunch of babies. I also moved the Nerite snail from the 5 gallon chi tank into this tank. Uh, there's been some algae problems in this tank that are ongoing. The light in it is just too bright for the low amount of plants. I only have java moss in there as a live plant. I did have some floating water sprite for a while, but it's since died back. The filter just kept pushing it down into the other plants and it died. That was the best plant that I had on top of the tank. It controlled the algae pretty well. I'm waiting for my water sprite to grow back from all the moves into the new tank and then I'll probably put some large ones in. You can probably tell I'm congested right now. Uh, I just wanted to video this tank because the shrimp were out. I'm actually in Boston. We've had oh, more snow than I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I think over six feet of snow cumulative now in the last two weeks and they're running out of places to put it. It's been ridiculous here. I have a video of them working like ants and removing tons of snow at a time, so I might post that just because it's kind of entertaining to watch. You can see the tetras are doing well. Um, I don't think we're going to add any more fish to this tank. If we do, we might add another tetra or something. I doubt we'll add another danio. The Daniels seem to be exhibiting a lot of spawning behavior, and I've seen the red and the green one look like females. The orange one, I think, is a male. This one right here, I think, is the male. And both the red and the, or the green one have had big swollen bellies, and then they've disappeared after an evening of this behavior. So I think they're spawning in here. I don't know if they're sterile or not. I haven't seen any fry. Chances are a lot of the parents probably eat them. I hope some survive because of the java moss, just because I'm curious how the color is passed on. But it'll be okay if it's not. The shrimp in here are just absolutely phenomenal. Even the males have a lot of red color to them. You're looking at three females. Um, there's a male over here, if the camera will be kind enough to focus. doesn't look like it. Alright, thanks for watching.